Sportsman. This is your host, Kurt Gowdy. Today on The American Sportsman, tennis great John Newcomb will join a unique camel roundup in Central Australia. Two-time National League Most Valuable Player Mike Schmidt will be in Idaho as he becomes sportsman to hunt for ducks. And also the dramatic efforts of a mountain team attempting to conquer the Chinese peak called Minyakonka. This story of personal conquest and tragedy underscores the courageous efforts of mankind against the elements of nature. That's the American Sportsman today. rises 24,900 feet above sea level. Minya Konka slices into the rarefied air of central China. For 50 years, the mountains of China remained closed to Westerners. As the political tide swept changes over the faces of cities such as Peking, mountain climbers could only dream of the day they might be allowed to return. It came as quite a surprise then, but in 1980, the Chinese government invited a team of some of America's top mountaineers to attempt the climb of Minyakonka. For all of them, it's like a dream come true. They have to pinch themselves to believe they're in a strange land where Tai Chi artists practice their ancient skill in the city park. Kim Schmitz, professional climbing guy. Jack Turner, the only one who speaks a little Chinese. Rick Ridgway and Harry Frischman, like the others, are veterans of Himalayan expeditions to other countries. But China remains the unknown lodestone, the bamboo curtain, the keeper of Asia's greatest secrets. The job of overseeing logistics falls to professional guide Al Reed, the group's leader. The climb itself, though, is only half the adventure. Equally exciting is the chance to journey overland down the width of China to see firsthand some of its ancient wonders. For Yvonne Chouinard, China's most famous monument is no ordinary tourist attraction. Everybody goes to see the Great Wall and they walk on and take a few pictures and they.